Good morning, YouTube. It's Deidre Goddess coming at you guys with a new video. I haven't made a video in eons. I have been so busy. We got moved into our new place. I got a new job. I'm back in school. My daughter and her husband and my grandson moved back. My daughter just had another baby, so I'm a grandmother again. So I have just been so much going on. It's just really been hard for me to find time to make videos. Um, I'm on my way to school again right now in this Houston traffic. Um, honestly, my weight has stayed the same. I had lost about 20 pounds and I've stayed at that 20 pound loss. Um, part of it is because I haven't been doing keto super strong the way I had been. Um, and then too, I had had some cheat meals. I was just very um, inconsistent with uh, my weight loss. I had started going to the gym um, I don't know if it's because I'm getting older, if I'm going through menopause, I don't know what it is, but it just seems like losing weight is a lot more difficult now than it once was. Um, I did go on my cruise to, um, Cozumel, Jamaica, and Grand Cayman. That was the most awesome experience that I have ever had. Maybe I'll make a video with the pictures. I didn't do much video recording, but I did take lots and lots of pictures. And I did get a new iPhone, so once I figure out how to use this phone, um, I know a lot of people use iPhones to make their um, YouTube videos. So once I figure out how to really use the phone, maybe I can start getting better with my video recording. I'm horrible, you guys. I'm, I'm not very technically, technology, technology. I don't even know how to say that. I'm not literate with technology. How about that? So right now I'm on my way to school. Um, my daughter does not much like the keto lifestyle. Um, she prefers the way that we ate before I gained the weight. Um, high protein. Um, low to medium carbs and low to medium fat. And I must say that I, I agree. Um, the keto lifestyle does keep me from craving carbs and it keeps me from being hungry. It, there's a lot of benefits to keto. The problem I think is that it, the meat, I don't, I, 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 I have to say that I'm probably not doing it correctly. I am not one for counting calories, measuring macros, and the such. And when I lost weight before, I did it without having to do all of that. So in order to properly do keto, you do have to monitor your fats and proteins and carbs. And I'm just too busy for that and I know that I can do it without doing all of that um, I understand people say that if you're really serious about this and you'll break down and do it I just to me being serious about losing weight and measuring uh, macros do not go hand in hand I've never done it before and I lost oh almost a hundred pounds so I don't understand why doing it now will make a difference so I have just recently went back to the grocery store and kind of revamped my kitchen I'm going to go back to eating chicken fish and turkey which is a little bit discouraged on the keto program because it does not have a lot of fat um, that coffee though unfortunately the meat, fatty meats are more of like the pork and the beef and I think that is where my problem lies um, the beef I've never been much of a beef eater so I think that the beef just might 
be too much. I, 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 don't, I don't know how to make the beef work in my diet. I like chicken. I like turkey. I like turkey bacon. I like fish. That seems to work for me. And it has always worked in the past. And now I just find that I'm always eating steaks. I'm eating hamburgers. I'm eating bacon. I don't eat a whole lot of sausage. I just don't feel that for me that that is the best way to go about my protein sources. Um, I have seen so many videos of people who do that and a lot of videos where people are just carnivore eating just steak and it seems to work fabulously for them. Just not so much for me. As far as carbs go, um, I don't necessarily have to have carbs um, although I do miss having my bananas and my smoothies. I used to drink a smoothie every single morning. I do miss my smoothies. And I do believe that the vitamins and nutrients in there did give me a lot of energy. Um, I, eat, I used to eat quinoa. I would replace it for rice, for oatmeal. I used to eat oatmeal. Um, these are... Um, sweet potatoes brown rice these are things that I enjoy eating that seem to work with me and in moderation did not cause me to lose to gain any weight so I just cutting them out it has to be replaced with something and I just I can't find a way to make the keto lifestyle work for me and my lifestyle and I have tried this keto thing for the past over a year and I always cheat because it is very restrictive when I'm going keto strong like I said it does knock out my appetite it does knock out the cravings but I need something that I can sustain forever and that's not necessarily something I can do forever. And as soon as I do eat a carb, it just seems like it's a snowball effect. And so therefore that makes that unsustainable for me. Some people can go keto strong and go keto, you know, don't have any problems. It just doesn't seem to be effective for me. And so I have decided to kind of move back into, I love salads. I love my breakfast scrambles where I use like um, eggs and different vegetables. Like I like to mix eggs with squash, eggs with sweet potatoes. Um, I don't like to do a lot of bread because I have a hard time controlling my bread. I did used to have low-carb bread, but I found that low-carb bread was rather dry and not very delicious. I do like the wellness, I believe is what they're called, low-carb, high-fiber tortillas. They have, I think it's five net grams of carbs in them, but they're high in fiber, and that too seemed to work for me. Um, I didn't have a problem eating those. Um, the keto, I constantly had stomach issues. Um, I was irregular. I felt like I was bloating because I wasn't um, releasing everything the way that it should. I just, I was was only going number two a couple times a week. I just, there's just too much about the keto that I didn't feel was um, cohesive with my lifestyle. I do enjoy eating vegetables. I like eating avocados and vegetables. I eat all my vegetables except for peas and carrots. Those are two that I don't care for. So, I am going to go back to trying my old lifestyle. Um, and another thing with keto, they say, oh, don't do cardio. I love cardio. I love cardio. And it's not that I do cardio for weight loss. I do cardio because I really truly enjoy cardio and I feel like it allows me to burn up stored calories. Not about allowing me to eat more 
because I'm doing cardio, but just burning off stored calories. And that something about that getting my heart rate up and getting my blood flowing, I enjoy that. So um, we're gonna try this thing. And my motto this whole time has always been to never give up. So even though I have hit a snag, I am not giving up and my health is something that I will have to work on for the rest of my life. Um, I don't see it as something you start and you stop. You might start, hit a ditch, and kind of go into this slump, but as long as you're still coming out, you're still and still striving to be healthy, that is what this is all about. It's not being about being skinny, it's about being healthy. So, um, on that note, everyone be blessed, um, stay focused, stay motivated. Um, please, I ask you guys to please encourage me, contact me, help me to stay um, motivated. I don't get a lot of comments on my videos and I just feel sometimes like I'm making these videos in vain. I know that there's thousands of people out there that are in the same place that I am and I just feel like in my real life people I don't have people that understand and I can talk to about this so I do reach out to the YouTube community to try to talk and converse with people who are going through the same things and it can be discouraging when you don't have anybody conversing with you like Sometimes it just makes you feel like, okay, am I doing this for nothing? Does not anybody not understand? Am I weird? So I do ask that you guys comment on the videos, subscribe to the channel, um, like the videos. But most importantly, I, I, I just ask you guys to please stay in contact with me, converse with me, and let's chit chat. Um, I do have a page on Facebook, low carb to no carb. Um, I honestly haven't been very, very active on that page either. It's very easy when you feel like you're not doing good to slack off. So again, I'm asking you guys to reach out to me. Um, help keep me motivated. Let's help keep each other motivated. Um, there's nothing like working in a team. You get so much more done when you do it together as a unit than trying to do it by yourself. Peace out. Be blessed. I'll see you guys in the next video.